Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the Mbot 2, Mbot Neo. So what you need is, first you need to assemble, uh, you need to build the robot, and after that uh, um, I recommend a, a PC, computer, laptop, um, I don't recommend an iPad, but you can, uh, but if you have a PC, computer, laptop, it's easy, trust me. So just plug in the USB cable, the computer, and make sure you charge before that, like three hours of charge. Now that you need to plug into this. So once you plug in, it will show you, um, it will boot it up. So my one is full charge, okay? So when it's in the off position, it will charge, okay? After that you can turn it on. Before I turn it on, let's go and download the software. So this is all today. The video is only for getting started, like uh, reviewing the settings and you know, uh, update the firmware and you know, make sure this uh, Mbot 2 ready to go. Okay, let me switch back to the website. So this is the website you need to download the uh, software. So, so you have a, a web based uh, version. So if you, uh, Click this. Actually, I'm in the Firefox, that's why I can't use it. But you need to have uh, the Chrome. So this is a. So they recommend Chrome browser recommended. So if you click here, you can download the Chrome, or you can click here. You can go directly to the uh, web uh, version. So you can uh, you can do all your coding. So you need to have an account. Okay. Make sure you have account. Sign up for account and. Uh, uh, you can use the web based version. I'm going to exit. I'm not going to do with the web version. I'm going to download the software. I'm going to uh, get a uh, full benefit of the their full version. Okay, so so this is for the Windows. This is sorry, this is for the Mac version and this is for the Windows version. You have mobile app for Android and iOS and I don't recommend as for today. I don't recommend for the uh, iPad. I mean if you have a big iPad big screen you can try it out but for the small one I I was testing that I feel is not enough room to do the codings you know it's very complicated and if you give to your kids they also get confused and you know it's very hard to learn if you have a computer uh, um, a laptop uh, you have enough room and more futures and most advanced futures in the software because they build only for the PC version. So let's go ahead download the for Windows. So uh, you like 251 MB just save. For, for this video I already download I already installed. Okay. So let me go ahead. So I already installed. So what I'm going to show you that. Okay, already installed the software. Now uh, you just plug in the USB cable and turn it on. Turn it on. Okay, just leave it here. Let's open the software. Okay. So now you see the software in here. Okay, after you install. So first of all, you need to create an account and sign in. Okay, and what you're going to do here is so I'm going to show you from the beginning. So for this um, lesson, you need to you need to you know getting started with the uh, M block uh, Neo. So before the M M block one version, you need to add the M block one like like this one. Okay. For for the M block two, you need to add the Cyber PI, and you can see in here. Just click this one. And click OK. So now make sure you add the device Cyber PI, not the M bot. Okay, this is the device you need to add it to the device to configure this M bot 2 version. So once you install this one, okay, you need to do is you need to go extension here. Okay, click the extension. Now you need to add this stuff. Okay. First one is Mbot 2 Shield. You need to make sure you install the Mbot 2 Shield added. It, okay. Go back again, extension. See, you, know, you already added now. After that, Ultrasonic Sensor 2. Add that one. Okay. Go again, extension. And you need to add a quad RGB sensor. Okay. So before you added the uh, Mbot Shield. This is the shield, okay. This is the shield, and this is the uh, ultrasonic sensor version 2. Okay, we added that. Our next one is you need to add a quad RGB sensor. So, this is the quad RGB sensor, okay. So, these three 
is the main part we need to configure okay we'll show you but for now this is getting started guide okay just install it so let's go ahead and add it okay that's the three we install so so these are added in so if you purchase um, in the future you can add this stuff so and uh, that's all for now okay make sure this is ultrasonic sensor this is about one so go back oh let's try to see i don't like their uh, software so you can't can can maximize you can't see it everything. this is the thing see so the for the door or down back is that the software is is very hard to use from your ipad or in small devices so as you can see that if you go here see it's very hard you know you need to click here and if you have all the coordinates here you can get can get complicated for kids especially for kids okay so let me show you so which one we installed we installed these okay these two and this one this two okay this is the new ones we added now we need to connect the ember 2 to your pc to connect make connect so we use usb so if you want to connect bluetooth bluetooth version is this one i mean this have a wi-fi but you need to buy a separate device to connect via wireless that usb there's a dongle wireless dongle made by mbot so you need to connect to your pc then you don't need to connect the usb cable so now we're using a usb cable okay so if you buy that uh, dongle the wireless device is like 15 bucks you connect to your pc okay or laptop then you just put it somewhere else and you just you can connect but this you can't connect because we don't have that dongle so you need to use the usb cable so every time if you want to configure if you want to do the coding you need to come get the pc plug in and do the coding and take it out and put it somewhere so you run the code as a down back too so you need to buy separate that this is just 15 bucks but it, is, it didn't come with my uh, when i purchased it didn't come with so you need to purchase separately or oh, there may be another deal you can it's come with the package but i didn't get it but it's good to have okay it's good to have so you don't need to plug in every time so now you can see the bluetooth version i mean i know this have bluetooth but there we need to purchase that device so it's connect to this one so now let's go to com3 for my computer when i connect it's when i install the software it already uh, uh, install everything and uh, it's very easy to find com3 but just in case if you have like com3 com4 like that uh, this will get com confused for you so if that in a case that if you have a lot of com3 com4 port because i'm an it guy i know that sometimes you know it's very hard to figure out which com is the correct port for for that reason if you have that kind of issues what you need to do here is let me go ahead and computer computer management okay now you can see right so go to the device manager okay go to the device manager and go to the comport okay this is the one so open the computer management and go to the ports okay and you will see it okay i don't i don't have any new issues but some sometimes your comp laptop is old and sometimes you install already have some kind of same drive or something just click that and you install it okay after you install it go here and do a scan how do i change it then it will automatically install so let's go hit connect okay so the device connected as you can device connected okay now most important thing now is device connected okay now you need to run firmware because i run firmware otherwise you will show like a yellow color sign thing okay so if you want to run the firmware you just click settings okay before that always remember click upload because you need to upload the firmware okay so even if you do a coding you want to upload the coding you need to upload the coding but well, let's get that to later now we need to upload the the firmware so what you need to do is you just click settings firmware update 
you will see this okay hit the updates it take probably depending on your internet speed and everything maybe 15 to 20 minutes okay because I already up, uh, upload the firmware uh, so I don't need to do it again okay I will skip that but once you upload it and you can set up your Wi-Fi you can put your Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi files and click OK okay you don't have to do it now because there's a way you can do in the programming in the coding thing uh, you can put a setup name host name okay I put cyberpair.st so that's my first and last name just want to make sure that's that's the one okay so once you upload the firmware it's ready to go it will reboot and you will do everything updates because the firmware update is not uh, the cyber pi is cyber pi doesn't need the firmware this is, firmware need the main board so cyber pi get the firmware then it will install to the main board okay so now once everything is done you want to make sure you restart the cyber pi and make sure there are no errors okay so that's all you need to do from the start next video i will show you how to program your first project thanks for watching if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe to my uh, youtube channel i will try to keep upload uh, more uh, lessons for the mbot also i'm going to do uh, more robots uh, different kind of robots project so stay tuned thank you